Hello, so what we have here is iPhone 6 scheme as a backlight. So initially, if the phone comes to us and it comes with a backlight, so what we usually test is oh, we can hear the noise and everything, you can see the sounds and everything. But we just check it if it's connecting to the computer first. Well, in this case, I didn't, I didn't have to because it just boots up and hear the the sounds on it connecting charger and everything so this is the thing we have I'm gonna disconnect the phone and we'll see what we can do with the backlight I'm making this video uh, just to see how quick we can do the backlight I'm going to zoom it, see what was happening, disconnect the battery, check, right, okay, someone had a go on this phone before, uh, if you can see that, I'll try and show you, and they worked in this area, the backlight filter, yes, and they have messed it up, or they didn't know what to do, so then they left it. They thought that we can't do it anyway. So all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just clean it a bit. Surrounding, just a little bit of heat. At least disconnected. Right? Um, yeah, this is a, a very common fault in iPhones. Yeah, it's a lot of them. A lot of them. So yeah. I'm gonna clean it. I'm gonna do a jumper, a jumper here, a show jumper. My favorite wire of which I take out from my iPhone 3GS window, and I love that wire. Thank you, Jason, again. Whenever I use it, I just remember of him. the work of Jason and Chessa and Marcus Holden amazing work good work it kind of made me tear I need this kind of video. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna check with the multimeter and die in more reading. Zoom out. Um, the f uh, I'm gonna check the point where the fuse is actually, I'm gonna check the pin no pin black light is open nothing there one no nothing to no reading and then we have pin two five and five and top pin is alive as well so we have one two is alive third one the bottom right bottom the first pin from the bottom right is not saying anything because fuse is blown, so this side is nothing. And what about this side? Let's have a look. If we can, yes. So we have a tiny bit of pad there. The mission is to get the wire from there to here and restore the connection to get the backlight quick as soon as possible. Okay, check the wire. Wire, 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 wire. Never I open this, I think I have lost it. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a separate box for my these three these wires actually, jumping lights. Right. Okay. So we're gonna get a little bit of flux.
beef up the connection. Road patch on the road. We're good to go. Okay. I'm sure we're done. Just need to take my wire off. And then we'll check it if we have any reading on that pen. Okay, so where we are. Need a bit of alcohol to clean it. While is all this liquid is gone, evaporated. I will check the diamond reading one more time. Zoom out. Oh, yeah, it is also really zoomed out. So I didn't zoom in when I was working on it. Sorry, but. Just want to finish this job as soon as possible. Says Pinwin, we got three. In one, go reading. Two, go reading. Oopsie. In one, die mode. Two and three. Uh, let's check it. The customers LCD. Don't connect the uh, battery. The first thing is to be always careful with the battery. If it's connected or not connected. With the touch connector. Done. Yeah, I'm going to connect all of these connectors to just make sure everything else is fine. Just came for backlight, so we got nothing to do on this. Just accept the backlight, and then we press power button. And we still don't have backlight. We still do not have backlight. We don't have a backlight. Ooh. Because I can see the Apple logo. I can see the Apple logo. Very s not as bright as very very faded. Okay. Disconnect. I'm gonna, try, I'm gonna try another screen first before I go back and check what's happening on the board. So, check the testing LCD. No backlight, no. So it was not just the the filter. It got something else as well. So let's probe in. What else they have done here? Trying to figure it out. Let's check the continuity mode. Let's check the pin. One from here no, to no, here. No. Hmm. Strange it is. It is really strange that it is. Give me some reading. Who is not connected? 
Okay, I'm gonna check these three points. Okay, on top. Let's zoom in. Okay, so continuity mode. Continuity mode. Yeah, good. 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 Good here. Mm -hmm. What else? Is that the blown diode under this shield? Okay. We're going under the shield. Check what's happening. Uh, we're going under the shield. So we can uh, protect it. I thought it was going to be an easy one. It, it looked at this. But I decided no because we're making a video. So no, not gonna be the easy job. Okay, let's pull up the shield. Move this microscope, zoom out, and you see that what you can do. Just get surprised. See what we have here. Then we have a blown diode. Great. So I think that's what they did. They did. Um, the thought is uh, just uh, fused. They worked on it, and then they had no image, so they left it for me to fix it. I'm gonna just. Uh, Take off this diode. It's burnt, and one of them uh, cap should be blown as well. I'm gonna check which one. A meter, meter. Okay, I have this meter, and this is magical meter. I call it. It tells me. If it's ground or not, see that? Tells me. Even the phone is on. So one of them is not good. My usual suspect is this one. out on this one like this could be the one the first from the VCC main line uh, this could be a dirty one 
this is the guy which is causing that all backlight. Okay, so just I'm not gonna throw it, I'm gonna check it if that is good or not. Let's check that. Dude looks okay to me. Oh just to confirm it. Yes, this was the one. Let's check that. Uh, will not be any beep anymore on these uh, caps. It's ground, ground, and we're done. We're okay. We got the right cap. I guess. No, it usually happens though. Okay, now I must have a improved voltage on the okay we'll check the diode mode reading again of the pin v1 let's see what we get i will just put here makes it easy for you and new hope okay diode mode pin one pin two pin three Pin one and two. I have a working board I'm going to match it up with that let's see what the reading of that anode pin it is supposed to be 500 594 65 so that 491 is way too high up on this phone Which is telling me that it's six hundred and something. Ooh. Right, I'm gonna take off that diode. Yeah, this diode is coming off. Right. I'm thinking how to do that because usually I take the board out and then do it. But this one I'm thinking to do it without taking the board out. first um, backlight when I had this one when this diode was blown off and oh god it was a mission to fix that when I used to do it differently at that time I used to throw a wires <laughs> um, the caps I don't know I used to solder in back here so I used to put here ground throw away from here to there but then I had this microscope it changed it everything I do okay so that diet was like in two pieces actually it came off okay it's all in pieces now done and dusted coming out one two and three there you go only thing I'll be checking that if I have a replacement diode if not then I'm going to use my old technique and then I used to get a white diode from uh, one of any 
broken screens and uh, two wire from the wire out from there and these two points and fix the device I'm just gonna clean it a bit more try to get it out if, if I can get it if not then If not, then yes, the wires will be the option. So, okay. I also remember when I used to do iPhone 3GS backlight repairs. Well, actually iPhone 4, yes iPhone 4, iPhone 4. What I used to do, I used to throw, instead of coil, I used to use a laminated wire, solid jumping wire, and I used to make uh, my own coil. And fix that way. That will work. Remember that's only post uh, you do it when you do not have replacement parts. Everything is usually available now, so you just replace it with the component where it's supposed to be. Okay, so we are ready to get to put the diode or the wire. Right, okay, so now let's so we'll look diode, 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 diode. Do I have a diode somewhere? Do I have? Do I have a diode? Honestly, do I have a diode? Okay, don't worry. I have a donor board. Many of them. So, let's check out what I have. Usually use the coils from them here. I took the diode off from here. Do I have any more diodes somewhere? Yep, I'm gonna pull off the diode from here. Just confirming. Don't want to that off from that board now that because it just got a code on okay the collection of right okay we have a diode here my um donor boards very handy It teaches you a lot if you want to learn. Come on, diode. You got it. Yeah. So let me just uh, put everything away apart from the board you're working. So now, this diode is coming on this board. So I'm gonna clean it a bit and just see the See the way it's supposed to be back on the board. And zoom in, adjust the view. Okay. So that's going this way. Just did a backlight before that as well. It was a water damage phone. 
uh, that was uh, the problem with that was that it was uh, okay it was uh, it was a water damage dead shortage and uh, that was a shortage on VCC main and that had a problem with the uh, the Q12 IC so what we did on that we removed that IC Oh yeah, we did remove that IC, but then I found out that the removing that VCC main shortage shortage will cause a trouble whenever you use a DC power supply. So then I used a wire method. And that wire method, what I did, I did, uh, I did, uh, I did, I did, I did, I did, uh, I did find out the shortage. And that was fixed. That's fine. Yeah. What do we have a problem? Shortage? Dead phone? What is it? Last time we have the pass either this company component with all other things. Which one is it? Problem? Yeah, display one or what you damage one. So we do it, we fix it now. Alright, we fix it. Alright, okay. So shortage and that okay, inshallah. Inshallah, inshallah, inshallah. Okay, so let's have a look if we can fix this Oopsie daisy diode and we are good to go got many more to come many more to repair okay, so right. Um, I think we're done. Let it cool down a bit. And again, I thought it's going to be a shortest video. <laughs> okay. I decided not to be. Meantime, we caught another success came in shortage. Another success came for a backlight. So now let's have a look if you have any shortage. And we also check the diode mode. Okay, so we still not have a happy reading. Let me check if we got a shortage somewhere. What is that? Meter? Do we have any shortage? Nope. Shortage is gone. We need tags on. Is that coil is also messed up? For that car, definitely I'll have to take the board out. Okay. Let's check over. Let's check one more time the diamo reading. Yes, we are back. We are back to the normal reading. Okay, let's check now. Demo reading. Zoom out. My lucky pennies. Four sixty seven. Five something and five something. I can guarantee you that it should have image now. Backlight actually, yes. So there is my airport still to lead it. Right. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, we are based in Manchester. I think I've never told that we are based in Manchester, England. I mean, we've been doing this here for quite a long time, maybe three since 2003. You said the last video, I think. We didn't used to do that before, actually. We used to do our computers. And then we thought, why not jump into the mobile phones? And guess what? It's amazing. I love this job. I love my work. You know, there is always a success story in this job. You have a failure story. I'm going to make some videos. And as I said, uh, whenever they were making a video, I'm not going to edit it or anything. I'm just going to be uploading as it is because this one's it's not going to be honest that everything we do get fixed. No, it doesn't. It depends what we're working on, what is the problem and where we are up to to that solution yet ok so battery connected do I smoke and do I have display did I not tell you would have a display? There you go. My lucky pennies. I told you these are my lucky pennies. Do not send his pennies. We don't use cent here. We use pennies. Mr. Trump can keep the cent. <laughs> I don't have any problem with that guy. It's just he's so funny. And I am, you know. I don't want to say anything. Forget it. Okay, so we have display. Only problem we have, we got a code on. Touch is working. And uh, we do not have a code, so. Code is on. Touch is working. And that we call it um, backlight done, code on, and we do not accept any redos whatsoever if the phone got code if you got a code on and customer is willing to give us a code then we do take a responsibility of, of repairing the any other phone we have if we get a code if you don't have a code trust me we don't know what else is 14 inside it's uh, somebody had to go on it it was a prior repair somebody tried to fix the back light with just a filter it was not just a filter so it was a blown up cap cap and the diode and so we removed the cap which was shorted to short the ground and then we remove we replaced the diode from a donor board happy days all right take care see you later maybe posting more videos bye bye